Hello, this is Angie Monko. I'm an energy healer and self-love coach for women going through grief and divorce. And today I'd like to talk about 24 tips for self-love. And these 24 tips will provide a solid foundation from which you can discern whether to set a healthy boundary or to create a rigid versus creating a rigid wall of self-protection. So think about where you're at right now. Who's breaking your heart? How are you abandoning yourself? Decide where you're at in these scenarios as I read along with them. And perhaps try to implement one this month, one of these tips. And just think if you did one tip a month or two tips, depending on how fast you wanna go, at the end of one or two years, your life would be completely transformed. So that's my invitation to you. Okay, so the first well are things we're not to do. So with self-love, it is not our job to, number one, rescue others or do their healing or any type of work for them. And the reason is that people want to feel independent, even if they say they don't. When they Number four, it's not our job to assume the worst about their choices and behaviors. That's often usually a reflection of our own fault finding within ourselves. Number five, it's not our job to continually call others out because this motivates them to shoot the messenger, which is us, because we're getting on their side of the street. Um, people aren't being irresponsible on purpose. They just aren't aware. Number six, it's not our job to overgive to them and devalue our time. Uh, overgiving to others is a pattern of codependency because we're trying to get a need met in an unhealthy way. For more details, see the notes. Number seven, it's not our job to judge or criticize others when they aren't ready to do something different. They may never be ready. The timing is not up to us. That's about divine timing and um, we just need to Again, try not to play God. Okay, number eight. It's not our job to close our heart and self-protect when others blame us or disagree with us. You gotta keep reminding yourself, keep our heart open. Number nine, it's not our job to need others to validate our worth. That's an inside job. Number 10, it's not our job to get enmeshed in their story of suffering because we can't do anything about it. Um, this can make us feel very powerless and hopeless, and everyone's on their own journey. Number 11, it is not our job to chase or overpower others through manipulating, guilting, or shaming if they don't do as we want. Um, it's easy to do. Okay, this next list is a list of what it is our job to do. So number one, to Number five, it is our job to see 
ourselves and others as loving, lovable, and valuable, whether they acknowledge us or not. We know who we are. Number six, to adjust our energy so that it aligns with love and acknowledge our saboteurs and thus we turn their volume down. Number seven, to pattern interrupt our behavior when we realize that we've gotten on someone else's side of the street. We can just say, hey, come on back. Um, this takes a lot of self-discipline and self-awareness and with practice it gets easier. Number eight, to arrest codependency in our personal and business relationships and take 100% ownership of our thoughts, feelings, and actions without harsh self-judgment. Um, positive self-talk. Thanks. Number nine, to give ourselves and others the benefit of a doubt and assume the best. We don't know the full story. Number 10, to not, it's our job to not take things personally, even if it seems that way. And it will often seem that way, but it never is. 11, to keep our word to ourselves and others. So let's do our best to follow through on commitments. Number 12, to do our very best and be our own best cheerleader. No one can do this like we can, and we're the only ones that can do this job. So when we start to practice these above self tip, love tips, um, setting healthy boundaries becomes natural and organic because the boundary will be coming from a place of self-love and not self-protection. There's a huge difference. If you need more help with self-love, check out in the comments a link to my next upcoming class, Three Secrets for Helping Women Go Through Difficult Life Transitions. Thank you so much.